one question we do get a lot is what do all these buttons do? And to be fair, it is a legitimate question. It can kind of look like an airplane cockpit the first time you log into Map Creator. So I think it would be a useful exercise for me to take you around, show you what all the buttons do on the dashboard. And then after that, we'll be ready to actually start making edits. So the first thing on the dashboard I want to show you is this beautiful panel here on the left, which we call the Discover panel. The Discover panel is a sort of panel that we use to relay some interesting stories, tidbits, and information that we want our users to see. You'll notice that, surprise, surprise, the first article on the top is about WeMap. So if I left click on that, you get an expanded article that contains a lot of information on the basics of exactly what WeMap is, who can participate. And it also contains some useful links to the Yammer group, for example. So if ever you're not sure where to find some info on WeMap, this is a really good place to start. To close the Discover panel, simply click on the X here on the left, and it's gone. That easy. Next up is the search bar. So you can probably guess what this is for, but I think I'll show you anyways. So this is what you would use to find anything in Map Creator. You could search for a city, you could search for an address, you could search for a place in here. So to start, we're going to go to Chicago for this exercise. So let's just write Chicago in here. Press Enter, and we will be in Chicago. Here we are. Easy enough. Next thing I want to show you is this little eye inside this little round circle here on the top right called the help menu. So if I left click on that, and again, you can probably guess what this is, but this is a very useful menu. If ever you forget how to do anything, let's say you forget how to add a road, how to add a place, or how to add or modify a house number, you can always go to this menu and find a step-by-step -step instruction manual on how to do each thing. So if ever you forget anything that I mentioned in this training video, you can always refer back to this. Next up, the layers menu on the top right here. This is a very important menu. So this contains uh, controls for everything that you can see as a layer above the map that you're looking at. So for example, you'll notice here it says places and house numbers. This is where you turn places and house numbers on. So for the purpose, purposes of this exercise, let's just zoom in a little bit. All right, here we are. So right now we've got places turned on over here and you'll notice there are all these little teal squares on the screen currently those are places that we're able to see if i left click on places here in the layers menu the places will disappear same concept for house numbers they're currently off if i left click they will appear as a layer in these sort of dark gray greenish squares so this is very important because you do need to make sure to have the layers that you want to edit turned on before editing them. You won't be able to edit any places or edit any house numbers or add them if you don't have that specific layer turned on. So that's the first thing you want to do if you want to make edits to that attribute. Next up, this is the add new menu here. So this is where you would go to add a new road to add a new place or to add a new house number. And you'll notice here that it says that I need to turn places on in order to be able to make edits to them. So this is what I just mentioned. If I left click here, places, I don't get that message anymore. So this is where you would go to add new ones. Next up, this is the map alerts menu. So if I left click on that, I get a little map alerts menu to pop up. So what exactly are map alerts? Well. Map alerts are something that we in the background can generate in order to get more information on a change that we think has happened. So for example, if we think that there's a restaurant that closed somewhere in the world, we can generate a map alert if we're not able to get any information to confirm that. So we're able to sort of ask people in the community or in Map Creator, can you confirm to us that we are right and that restaurant is closed? And this could be used for anything. It can also be used for roads or for any, any other item for which we need information. And this is where you would go to get map alerts on this little triangle here. Next up on the bottom right, these are the map controls. So this is where you would go to zoom in and out, this little plus and minus button here. So you can pretty much guess what this is, but you can also use mouse button three, uh, the little wheel in the middle of your mouse. You can use that to zoom in and out as well. And personally, I find it more intuitive, so that's what I use. But feel free to use these buttons as well. You can maybe do a little bit of a more precise zoom in and out using it. Next up, this is the menu where you would control what's in the background of your map currently. So right now we're set at a hybrid background which switches from satellite imagery to roads depending on the zoom level. So for example, right now, we're very closely zoomed in so we're able to see satellite imagery. But if I zoom out, it will switch to roads. There you go. 
You can see that happen live if I open the menu here. Right now we're on roads. If I zoom in, you'll notice that the green highlight around the square switches to satellite imagery. If I want to have only roads, I can left click here on roads and no matter my zoom level, it will be just a simple map roads background. If I want to have just satellite imagery, I can do the same thing. Left click on the satellite square and if I zoom out, it will still be satellite imagery. One little tidbit that people don't realize is in Map Creator is an alternate satellite layer. So this is very useful if, for example, there's something you can't see quite clearly in the existing satellite imagery layer, or there's something, uh, there's a cloud in the way, for example, you can switch to a second layer of satellite imagery by clicking on alternate sat here. So if I left click there, it'll switch to a completely different layer of satellite imagery. So this is really useful in order to confirm certain things or if there's something you can't see. So we're going to switch back to normal satellite here for the purposes of this exercise. And the last little bit of information for this menu is that you're also able to use a terrain view. This is the last square on the bottom, but we're going to stick to satellite imagery for this. Uh, next and last thing that I do want to show you in Map Creator on the dashboard is the Your Stuff menu here. So after making edits, uh, logically you'd want to track all your edits and figure out what happened to them, what their current status is. So you would do that in the Your Stuff menu here. So if I left click there, and I will just move my face out of the way. All right, here we are. So the first page that you come up with is a campaigns and statistics page. So on this page, you can see some sort of general statistics on edits you've made, uh, the proportion of places versus uh, road edits, and your position worldwide against other editors. This is where you would see that. The page that we really are interested in for this purpose is the Your Feed. That's the second page here. This is where you can see a list of every individual edit that you've made, and you can also see their current status. To get more information on a specific edit, just go over the edit. So let's take this one here, Class and Avenue in Brooklyn, New York, for example. If I left click on that, I will get information as to its current status. So it's currently closed and has been integrated into the database based on the information here. If it was still being under review or it was still being looked at by GPO or another team, the circle would stop here at under review and you would get a message under here explaining exactly what it's at currently. So this is where you would go to see what's going on with all the edits that you've made. So that's it for a basic overview of the dashboard. Find me in the next section and we'll talk about how to add a